welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hello my name is emma rose and welcome to my channel so guys today i'm going to be reviewing some makeup brushes and there's some makeup brushes from hey mk go so hey mk go stands for hey makeup go and just look how cute the packaging is and it's basically a full face of makeup brushes at a budget price which is amazing and they look like amazing quality i have not tried them yet so i'm gonna get them all out for you Ooh, okay so, oh no I'm just always dropping stuff it's very very normal so these are the face brushes and these are all the eyeshadow brushes you get so in total you get 15 brushes and i mean it basically includes everything you'll ever need for a makeup look which i was just obsessed with so i have not tried them out as you can see they're still in their packaging they came in this cute little bag so i just find the bag so cute i mean it's so convenient as well so when you're on the go you have a cute little bag to pull the makeup brushes in and the color goes with my wall guys kind of well from here it does blends it not there anyway <laughs> so i really love the packaging it's also like a leather material and it's very soft inside and i love that it has a little handle as well so you know it can look like a clutch when you're going out like yo got my makeup brushes with me and on the brushes they don't say you know what their uses are i always love it when makeup brushes you know just come with you know names as to what type of brush they are like cut crease eyeshadow big eyeshadow contour brush you know so on so when you do get them online they tell you exactly what each of the makeup brushes are used for which is good so you do have a way of finding out what each brush is used for because they label it on their amazon page so you know at least that is convenient so i got the champagne gold professional makeup brush set so i'm just going to be reading out to you guys what type of brushes are included in the set so you get a blush brush powder brush face flat brush, multi-function brush, foundation brush, eyelash and eyebrow brush, eyebrow brush, precision crease brush, small eyeshadow brush, large shader brush, small flame brush, angle shadow brush, concealer brush, detail brush, and finally a precision flat brush. So I mean, as I said before, you basically get all the type of eyeshadow brushes you will ever need, which is very convenient and you've got them all labeled and shown on their amazon page so of course i shall be leaving a link to their page down below and i just wanted to briefly mention this is a sponsored video however as you guys know i'm always going to keep it real with you guys so i'm going to be doing a full glam makeup tutorial try on video for you guys just so that i can try out all their brushes and you know see if they're actually worth it so i shall be letting you know how i get on with these brushes and i'll be giving you guys my honest opinion all right at the end of this video so anyway, enough of the brushes, let's get started on this makeup look. Okay guys, so I'm going to be starting off with my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using their spoolie and their eyebrow brush and they look like this. Okay, so I like that it's firm already and it picked up the product, like quite a lot of product. Oh, it just came out actually really nice. So please excuse my brows guys, I haven't done them in like a month now because we're on quarantine and everything's shut so i just have to live with these horrible brows at the moment so let's see if we can change it i really like how this you know comes out i thought it was quite thick it wouldn't be as precise applying it but i really like how it's coming out so so far so good so yeah i'm gonna be using this spoolie now just to you know blend this product out a little bit um wow that came out really nicely it's so firm and precise i'm now going to be using my concealer pen thing okay i'm not putting too much product guys because like i said my brows are already as bushy and as thick as they need to be i just want to kind of just apply also now i'm going to be using their concealer brush which is this one here and Yes, it's very firm and flat, which I love about it already. Okay, so this comes out very nicely. It's very precise. I think I'm going to swap my actual concealer brush with this concealer brush for my brows because it's very precise. So I'm very happy with how my brows came out. So far, so good. They look really pretty compared to my other brows. 
can you see that difference okay guys so now i'm gonna be doing my eyeshadow look so i'm now gonna just start priming my eyelids okay so now that i finished priming my eyes i'm going to be using one of their big eyeshadow brushes so this one here I'm going to be grabbing this tone here and like I said before I'm going to be using the big eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to be applying this along basically the crease. Okay so far so good it is very soft the bristles so I do love a soft bristled brush so and it grabs onto the product quite well and then I'm just going to be slowly bringing it up blending upwards so it's doing really well with blending the product it comes out so naturally i love how it's coming out so far okay so i feel like that applied quite nicely i'm now going to be using another big eyeshadow brush and i'm going to be using the shade yellow and i'm going to be using this as a transition shade so i'm just going to be putting this all over on top of the eyeshadow I'm liking how these brushes are blending out the colours. I find them so cute. It comes out really cute. So I'm happy with that. It's really, really hard finding a brush that's good at cutting the crease. So I just hope this comes out good. As it is quite a big brush, you need a lot of precision. Just to make sure the concealer just doesn't get everywhere. So good. I like how it's coming out. It's very sturdy and firm the only thing is i wish maybe it was just a bit smaller just to be you know because you have to have so much precision it's just so precise i thought because it's a big brush it wouldn't come out like this i thought i'd have such a harder a much harder time trying to get it to look like this but it came on so smoothly so anyway i'm just gonna stop talking and i'm gonna do the other eye I'm now going to be using this shade here, so it's quite a nudey kind of colour. And I'm just going to be applying this where I basically cut the crease. I forgot to talk about the brush. So I'm using this rounded type of eyeshadow brush. You can see I already applied some colour onto it because I forgot <laughs> to talk about the brush first. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be applying this all over where I cut my crease. This look is giving me like autumn vibes as if we're in autumn when it's like minus one degrees right now in London. Amazing. Okay, I'm just going to do my other eye and I shall be back with this eyeshadow brush over here. So it's like a small blending brush. So I'm now going to be using the shade Ginger and I'm just going to be putting this on the outer corner, you know, just to blend it all out. Placing this here. these brushes are literally amazing at blending i love how they just blend the colors so nicely colors shades okay guys so now a personal touch i'm going to be doing that has nothing to do with the brushes i'm just going to be adding some glitter in the inner corner you know just to emify this look of course with some glitters okay guys so i have now almost completed my eyeshadow look so i'm going to now start using their foundation brush to apply my foundation so i hope it just doesn't come out you know streaky or anything i want to see how it comes out it's quite firm so i'm going to be using my fenty beauty foundation okay i do like how this is coming out so far i just wish the bristles were a bit shorter just because i feel like they're quite long but i feel like it comes on so nicely and um it's not streaky so it's not making my foundation streaky in any way so so far so good so now with a concealer brush i'm just going to be blending out my concealer so i'm just going to be blending out these areas usually put it down my nose yeah, I use quite a lot of concealer, as you can tell. Okay, I do like how their concealer is tiny, so it's so precise. But I wish it was just a bit bigger, just for me, just because I use so much concealer. So, because I use so much concealer, it does take me a while to 
to blend out everything which is why I usually use a bigger concealer brush okay so I'm now going to be using my Fenty Beauty matchsticks I'm just going to be contouring my face so I'm just going to put a tiny bit here Okay, so I'm now going to be using this multifunctional brush and I'm just going to be blending out where I contoured. Let's see how this comes out. Okay, that blends out really nicely. No harsh lines. And with this detail brush, which is a rounded brush. I'm just going to be contouring around my nose. You just want this area as precise as possible. So now with the powder brush, which is this one here, I'm going to be contouring my face. So I started and then I realized I wasn't recording. So yeah, I'm just going to contour my cheekbone. So that picked up the product beautifully. I have a really oily skin guys so you know the more powder the better for me just because I suffer from such oily skin okay guys so while I bake I'm just gonna be finishing my eye makeup so I'm gonna be grabbing this yellow shade over here and I'm just gonna be placing this on the inner corner of my eye with the flat brush which is this one here He actually got a lot of the products so I like how this is coming out. I'm now going to be using the shade Kokoro and I'm just going to be putting it on the other end of my eye or lower lash line. It comes out so precise, I really like this brush. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to be using these Mega Volume Lashes. So they're like Dolly Style Lashes by Ardell. And I just find them so cute. It's my first time using them, so I just can't wait to see how they come out. I'm just going to be taking off the powder. Just finish, you know, baking. Time's up. So I'm going to be using the powder brush just to remove all the powder left on my face. And now with that powder brush, I'm just going to be applying some bronzer onto my face. It comes out so cute. Hello again, my loves. So this is the finished look. Yeah, I couldn't, you know, film right at the end just because my beautiful, amazing camera that always tends to give up on me as I'm finishing a video decided to run out of battery. So I was like, you know what, while it's charging, I'm just going to finish off the makeup look. There wasn't much done. I applied lip gloss, which didn't really, I didn't need the brushes for. Um, I don't know if you saw, I stuck on my lashes and then BAM! this is what came out <laughs> so guys i basically done this whole look with one brush set by hey mk go and i really 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 liked it i think it's so worth the money especially if you're a beginner in makeup i think it's just an amazing set to start off with especially because it's only 13 pounds which is amazing for 15 brushes so i shall be leaving the link down below and i'm like you know talking with the brush in my hand like yo <laughs> but yeah it's just an amazing brush set collection i achieved this whole look the eyeshadow look the makeup look everything just using this brush set which i actually really really like usually with cheaper brushes the bristles usually you know will fall out whilst you're using it i did not get that once with this brush collection I am literally obsessed with them. I don't even know why I didn't hear about them before. The presentation is also beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with the color. Oh my gosh, it's a magnet. I did not know that. Um, yeah, so the presentation was beautiful. So they've got two websites, one in the UK, one in the US. I shall be leaving them both down below, you know, just making it easier for all of us to get access to the brushes because it really is worth it. And I really like the finished results. Okay, guys, so that is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.